What's up everybody, this is Andy with MyTech Methods and this is my video over how to jailbreak iOS 7 on your iPhone, iPad or iPod. Okay, the wait is finally over. You can now jailbreak your iOS 7 device and it's just a few simple steps that you have to follow and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. The first step you wanna do is just connect your device, your iPhone, iPad or iPod up to your computer and when iTunes opens, just select backup now right here and back up your device to your computer. That's the first, very first thing you wanna do before you do this because if anything goes wrong, you wanna have a backup uh, of your device so you can restore your device if something goes wrong along the way. So do that now, back up your device to your iTunes, it'll only take a few minutes. Okay, step number two. Here's where you're gonna restore your iPhone, iPad, or iPod to the latest iOS version that there is. And currently, right now when I'm doing this video, it's 7.0.4. And the reason we wanna do this is because if you updated over the air through your um, device, if you updated to the latest version that way, it'll cause some problems if you jailbreak. So the first thing you wanna do is just restore your device. So while it's connected to iTunes, just go ahead and click this restore button right here. Okay, it'll ask you to verify that this is what you want to do. As long as you just made that successful backup, then you can go ahead and click restore and update and it'll restore to the latest version of iOS so we can do the jailbreak. Click next, click agree. The restore might take some time depending on your internet speed, but if you have fairly fast internet, it'll take just a few minutes. Now your iOS device will restore. Okay, so the restore is done, and now it's going to ask me if I want to set it up as a new iPad or if I want to restore from my backup. So obviously we're going to restore from our most recent backup that we just did, then hit continue. Okay, once the restore is done, the next thing you want to do is go on your device and disable any passcode lock that you have on it. If you have one, you can re-enable it once you're done with the jailbreak. Okay, once you disable your passcode lock, the next thing you wanna do is go on your computer and go to the Evasion website. That's evasion.com with a zero. The link will be in the video description below. And then once you're at the site, you're gonna download the jailbreak app for whatever operating system you're on. I'm on a Mac, so I'll click the Mac download button. Okay, then go ahead and click the download button, download it to your computer. Okay, once it's finished downloading to your computer, you're gonna open it up. And then double click the application to run it. Okay, now you'll see the evasion application in the box. It'll pop up and it'll say uh, welcome and make sure that your iPad or iPhone or iPod, whichever you're jailbreaking is supported. Just make sure, make sure it says that it's supported right here on this window. All right, now the next step is the jailbreak. If you don't already have your device connected to your computer, go ahead and do that right now and let it sync to iTunes. And then once it's connected, go ahead and click the jailbreak button. The jailbreak process will begin and it will take a few minutes to complete this whole process and I will be speeding it up for the sake of this video. And during this whole jailbreak process, your device will reboot. Okay, now it says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new Evasion 7 icon. Okay, it'll come up and then it'll go right back down and reboot again. Okay, the device will reboot one last time and Evasion says that it's done. So we're gonna let, let the device reboot and come back up now and we should be able to go into Cydia. Now after the final reboot, you will see Evasion do some final tasks while it completes the jailbreak. Okay, so now you can go into your device and go to the last page and you should see Cydia right there and you can tap on it to open it up for the first time. It'll prepare the file system. Okay, once your device resprings, it'll come back up and go back into Cydia one last time and then choose user and hit done. And if it asks you to do any upgrades, just go ahead and do the upgrades. I'll hit complete upgrades, hit confirm. Okay, then click close Cydia. And there you have it. Your iOS 7 device is now jailbroken and you can go into Cydia and add all the tweaks and apps that you want. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will be doing videos in the future about some of my favorite tweaks and apps from Cydia. Thank you so much for watching. Keep having fun out there and I will talk to you later.